Are you new to see heroes or training player and wanting better control of your mastermind pets? Well, I'm controlled chaos and in this video, I'm going to show you some cool design layouts to manage your pets better with macros and binds. Let's go ahead and get started. So first off, you have your normal setup here. You see, I have all my pets here. And what you want to do is normally you'll have a third tray that I set up that has all of my pets and stuff like that. But what if, let's say, you don't want that third tray. You don't want it to be too high. You can hit the plus button here, which a lot of us know about. Some of you may not or may not or may or may not know about this, but you can just drag it to sidewalls. The only reason it's not popping like that there we go. You don't want overlapping because then it makes it hard to see what's popping and stuff like that. But you can also drag it to the angles like that. Another thing you can do to make things easier for yourself is you can do a three by four or you can do a four by three setup of this and put this where you want it. You could literally have it right underneath your pets, wherever you feel is best. I personally like to have mine docked in the following ways. I like to have mine docked like this. I like having mine in the corner there. Now, <coughs> with that being said, excuse me, what we can do next is we can add in more commands. So you want to go over here to options and I already had my advance, but I have it now set to simple, which is the way it is by default. You can grab each of these buttons and throw them in. They're just simply the attack button, which I have down here, the follow button, the heal button, and the uh, hold ground button. But if you go options and then go advanced mode, you get more buttons you get this button here, which is the passive, defensive, and aggressive. So we have it on aggressive now. Now you can't pull the buttons from here, but when you have the button here, you can grab it, pull it, place it here. Then let's say we want the defensive one. Just click here, click defensive. We'll tell them to go defensive and that's fine. Then you place it there. Then you click it again, click passive, drag the passive, Put it there. Now we have one more that we can pull from this whole entire thing is the go to. So click on the go to and you're going to have to actually click where you want them to go to and we'll make the, that button switch over. Then we can take this button and there you go. So now down this corner, I have all of my buttons for how I want them to react. And I can all tell them easily to do this. Now, there's another step that you can do. Let's say you want to split up what minions are attacking what targets. Let's go into that. And this is all done by binds. And these binds are really nice. And they're all set to the number pad on your keyboard. But let's go ahead and get into this. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to find a group of bad guys here. So first, I want them all to follow me. So I'm going to have them all follow me. You notice I clicked on the button because I want to show you the, the cool part here. Just got to find a group of three or more mobs to make this work. There's two. Always two, always two, always two. I want more. Well, let me find more and then I will be back. Okay, so here is a big group. Wait for the pets to get here. It takes them a bit. Now, I have set this up, and the way it works... Oh, never mind, they already aggroed them. So while they're aggroing them and, and killing them, basically, on the numpad, the zero key is all pets. The one key is all minions, which are the uh, demon links on this. Then the two key is your lieutenants, which is the demons. And then the three key is your boss, which is the demon prince for me. And that's the way that works for selection. Then above that, you're setting aggressive, defensive, and passive for four, five, and six. Then seven, eight, and nine is 
attack target, stay, or go here, or go to. So I'll show you how this works exactly. Okay, so we have another group here. We're not close enough. So I'm gonna hit one and then seven. I'm gonna hit tab, I'm gonna hit two, and I'm gonna hit that. Come on, two. A little bit fidgety sometimes. Oh, I'm, that's why it's not working. I was saying eight instead of, <laughs> oops. So we got that, but then we got that runner. So I'll hit three and seven. And look at him go. That's how you can control it. Or let's say I want to take this group out. I can hit zero and seven and they'll all attack. And I can just say one and seven, two and seven. And two, seven. Oh. Helps if I actually have a target. Two, seven. You'll see that my succubus only attack. Nothing else. Then I can go here and go three, seven. Okay, let's go three, seven. There we go. The Prince Lord went in. As you can see, it works out pretty well and pretty nice. Now, to get these keybinds, it's a long written out thing. And with my nystigmatism, I don't want to misguide you guys. So in this description down below is a link for all of this. It has different ones for beasts and thugs and mercenaries and robots and things like that. Just find the ones you need, plug it in. It's simple as that. It's always going to be a forward slash bind and then a long command in parentheses. Now, if you're wondering how I got my pets to look unique like I did, check out this video right here that goes out on to show you how to customize your pets only for the Thunder Spy server and have a great day.